welcome to the second in our series of six videos. This one is called Alone Together, and I suppose the reason that we kind of chose that as the title was really thinking about that idea that staying at home doesn't mean that you need to disconnect from your friends and family and loved ones. And really, I suppose the focus is connection at a distance and creative and playful ways in which we can keep in touch. Yeah, and I think that's so important because we're always worried as parents about screen time, are our children getting too much of it, what does that mean? And here we are relying on it and heavily relying on it. And I would say, give yourselves a break. The usual rules do not apply because this is not a usual time. And I think there are many creative ways and playful ways to utilize screen time to keep that connection going. Mm -hmm. So if your children are separated from their grandparents and maybe they've had a close relationship and seen them quite often, that's a really difficult yeah. uh, prolonged separation for mm -hmm. both the children and grandparents. So one of the things you can do is using FaceTime calling, whatever platform you're using for that, play a game of mirrors because it can be done through a screen. What that would mean is granny or granddad or aunt or whoever it is, is on the other end of the phone and they invite your child to be their mirror. That means their face should copy everything that theirs is doing. So if I'm the grandparent, I might go, oh. or whatever it is, mm. and your child will copy those back. And there is that moment of meeting in doing that. Another game, as just following on from the mirrors, is a game called Eye Signals. And again, it can be done through the screen. So what this involves is that the grandparent or whomever holds their head very still and only their eyes move. And if their eyes move to the right or this direction, your child who's looking at it waves the hand on that side. If their eyes move to the other side, they wave the hand on that side. And if they blink really quick, your child rolls their eyes, mm -hmm. rolls their hands rather. And what that means is I have to stay really connected and tuned into you to manage that mm -hmm. game. And I think that's really effective. Mm -hmm. And a third one that's just coming to my mind, just to sneak mm -hmm. a little third game into this one, if I might, <laughs> is take a little beanie teddy. You probably have loads of these at home. Something like this. The beans are good because there's a bit of weight in them. And you help or your child puts the beanie toy on their own head. Then granny or granddad on the other side of the camera goes, wait, 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 tip, and your child tips and catches. And they're basically playing beanbag drop mm -hmm. through the phone. So there are so many ways of being playfully connected mm -hmm. in a time of separation so that we can be yeah. alone together. Absolutely. And I, I might add um, yes. another, I've, I've two, two other uh, ideas for games. Um, one is called Walk This Way, and so that would allow you to set your laptop or, or phone or something, just prop it up and move away from the camera. And then the instruction is really that you, in, in and of yourself, will do a funny walk towards the camera, and then your grandchild or, or nephew or niece or and copies you and walks forward. And then you go back to start point again, and now your, the, the, your grandchild will take that walk towards you and and again becomes another way of being able to kind of have that kind of joint yeah. engagement collaborative engagement in play that playful exchange the turn taking and the back and forth and also another is funny faces oh well, funny faces yeah right one that you can use just where you get a scarf or something that you have to hand being able to conceal your face and then drop it and pull a funny face and then lift it back up again and then the child copies and mimics the face that you've pulled and again, you can use that in another turn table. Yeah, and I think it's great that, you know, granny, granddad, or whomever, you know, just saying grandparents, but whomever can plan and structure this a bit yes. so they know I'm going to play two or three games. Mm. I know that's going to take approximately 15 minutes, mm. and I'm using that time frame because for most children, that's long enough actually yeah. for that intense play and enough time through the screen as well. Mm. But it's been very engagement focused. So that kind of hyper stimulus from screen use that can happen if they're just watching a cartoon or something for 15 minutes yeah. doesn't apply. Absolutely. It's a completely different experience. Give it a go and see how you get on.